Alright, so when you're starting out shipwright, you won't have any of these five pieces. You'll just have fours and threes, which will really only get you X's. Um, but when you do have fives, they are the most important thing when it comes to your chain, because they can boost your score up, like, heaps. That, yeah, heaps. So, um... You want to start organising fives and fours and then threes because well, it's pretty obvious that fours are worth more than threes and fives are more, worth more than the um, Yeah, anyway, I can't concentrate on doing this. So, Magnificent is the fifth highest score you can get, I think, off the top of my head. Um, Master being the highest. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go for the this four, the um, the mass four. I will be referring to them. Oh shit, I can't. Yes. So you've got to keep constantly moving them, making sure you can better your score, get a better um overall score. But this limits me, and I I've done a really poor board set up here, but I still got two golds and a five, which is an admirable, which is like the fifth or the fourth height, fifth, I can't remember. Now you never do a three after quite a long chain like that, because it will just lower your score. With a magnificent, if I did a three where I could do this one, it will go down to good. So I'm just going to start organising again. Um, the way you set your board out becomes very familiar because shipwright is a very repetitive um, puzzle because it is a 5x5 five five board with 25 pieces. So you're really going to come across the same pieces over and over and over again. Um, do that there, so you're just watching what you're doing and finding ways to fix it is just constantly going to help your score. Now, if you've got a two fours and one has a gold in it, you do the um, four with the gold in it last, like after that, because the gold gain gives a good boost to your score. Um, there's nothing more I can do here. Um, with the chain, a chain is how many pieces you clear without moving um, uh, any like any other pieces. Um, so the chain directly affects your comparative score, is what Wikipedia calls it, which I don't even understand, but it affects that score. And your comparative score is magnificent, superior, um, uh, master. Master is the highest. And that is what overall, it overall affects, because a fair and a good is usually two threes, like a, a, a symbol, what the, f I don't even know. I thought they go on your thumb or something, or whatever. Uh, I don't like some of these boards right now. Because um, I've got a four there, I'm going to set up another four that I can do, just in case I might get that, which I didn't. So I'll do that three, and let's do this one. So I've got another Magnificent. You never... Ooh, I've got an Artisan. Anything else I can do? No. Yeah, it was just freaking fat. That's incredible. That's pretty easy. Once you set out the board and you get um, clearing a seven chain and you get two fives, usually gets you. If you do that for four or three um, setups, then you usually get an incredible. All right.